Welcome to the James Rule Crypto Show. Learn about blockchain technology and the world of digital assets. If you like the channel, please subscribe. James is not a financial advisor. Please invest at your own risk. Good morning. Welcome to the James Rule Crypto Show. It's Saturday morning. I have coffee in hand. I drink community coffee, dark roast. It's made in Louisiana. And it gets me up in the morning. And I'll tell you what, we have a few things to cover. I have a big day today. My nephew's coming in. He's graduating high school. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. So a lot on the plate this weekend. Well, actually this evening at 6 p.m. in Texas, I'm going to be interviewing the team at Casino Coin and premiering it Monday. So stay tuned. There's a lot going on. My schedule's pretty busy. I work Monday through Friday at a home improvement shop here in Texas. And on the weekends, I try to cram in some news and videos. We're going to make a quick video. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk about the stupid shit going on with our governments. We're going to talk about the crazy news. We're going to talk about the fun news. We're going to talk about the serious news. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto teacher. I told you so. Follow me on Twitter at RuleXRP. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. Share it with the rest of the world. Let's have a good time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, most of us on crypto Twitter for the past year, for the past two years, have been just like this guy. Check it out. You know, every day you get up and, and look at your numbers and you you put some money into these different at, dig, digital assets and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing so hard right now because I'm an OG. Many of you out there are OGs and all the newbies coming into this space, they put $100 in this, they put $10 in that, they're looking at their numbers every three minutes and they're just like this guy. Oh my God, the sky is falling. There's fire in the streets. You know, you got to be patient. We're waiting on these dumbass governments. We're waiting on these politicians, these regulatory clarity makers, these, you know, it, it's, it's ridiculous the shit we're having to go through because they're so greedy and they're relying on the banks and all the above. But yeah, don't be like this guy. Be like the OGs and just chill. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. Coin paprika, nothing to brag about, but this is what everybody looks at every day. And they're, they're like, oh man, uh, I'll never be able to retire. I'll ne well, you know, I'm 56 and I'm still working. So, but I have faith in what I've invested in, what I've done my research on. Total market cap, $1.169 trillion. Bitcoin is at a whopping $26,835. Ethereum's at 1805. XRP is almost 43 cents. Cordano and all the others. Do your research. Don't get in a hurry. Uh, check this out. Back has a massive delisting, including Ave, Avax, Comp File, Maker, Uni, blah, 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 and XLM. They're delisting tokens because they're afraid you're going to get sued. Well, it's a little too late for that. Hello, is it a little too late to delist cryptocurrencies on exchanges? What a bunch of dumbasses. There is no clarity on any digital asset at the moment. And you're out there going, oh shit, we better delist this. Gary Gensler's going to sue us if we don't delist XLM or Ave or whatever. So really, grow a pair. Be like Uphold. Give the SEC the finger. We know what's cl what has clarity. Okay, I got up this morning and I was a little emotional. And, and I started looking back on the past six years that I've been in this space. And, you know, I've been a, a crypto teacher for the past three years on YouTube. And I've just now revamped my channel to the James Rule Crypto Show. But anyway, I woke up this morning and I tweeted this short uh, post and it says, I invest in new technologies via digital assets or cryptocurrencies. And I have been for the past six years. I believe in the technology and I have done extensive research in each ecosystem. I've jumped down those rabbit holes. I know exactly what I have invested in. 
Now, the U.S. government, the SEC, Gary Gensler, and all the other goons out there are not protecting investors or the companies that are developing these amazing technologies, and it's absolutely disgusting. It's damn near impossible for someone to purchase XRP or other digital assets in the United States, and we will continue to fight this hypocrisy until we get a level playing field, people. That's all. Connect to Congress. Connect to your local representatives. They know this technology is not going away. They know blockchain technology is going away. They know that cryptocurrency is not going away. They're just trying to get their stingy hands on it so they could tax the shit out of you. They could pad their pockets. Once the banks take over cryptocurrency in the United States, they're going to charge you horrendous fees to custody your crypto for you. It's going to be a shit show, but you know what? It's going to happen. We're eventually going to get clarity. Gary Gensler is eventually going to be out of office. His time is limited. The younger generation needs to be in Congress. The educated, technological students, governments, whatever, need to be in Congress, need to be in our government. This is the wave of the future. It's going to happen. Get out there. Vote. Make the right decision. Okay. You know, I love this community. And, and yesterday, Crypto Eddie posted this tweet. And I said, caption this. And it has... Jerome Powell in Japan, and it has Janet Yellen in Japan saying, come on, Jerome, clap your hands, come on. Now, check it out. I said, caption this, and check it out. Jerome, I fucked up, Janet. Janet, we know. <laughs> uh, Janet, Jay, we might be fucked. Are we fucked? Jay, uh, we're fucked. Janet, fuck. Uh, chip on the chain, Dumb and Dumber. How many life rafts are there? Let's see, Metaman X, hmm, life is like a box of chocolates, let's see, and one time at man camp, you know, it's it's just, I love this community because it's just ridiculous, the individuals that are running the United States, their age, their thought process, they haven't taken their Geritol, they don't, they need to take their medicine, you know, they can't focus because, you know, they fucked this country and, and pardon my language, but I'm just being honest with you. Let's keep going. What do we have next? Jason Foster. Jason Foster is with Empower Oversight. He's the founder. And here a year or two ago, he sent a Freedom of Information Act request to the SEC demanding documentation of Gary Gensler and Jay Clayton and Ethgate and all of the above. And the SEC has not sent that information to him. Well, he's turning around and he's suing the SEC again. He is demanding, right here it says, hey SEC, this is not a game. The law requires you to do these searches and you have known it all along. Time for the foot dragging and dishonesty to stop. Be serious professionals, do the searches and produce the documents. I'll leave a link to everything we covered today. I only have a few minutes this morning. Jack, Quad Jacks, XRP with Casino Coin. They are giving away 1 million Casino Coin for luck, one lucky winner. I'll leave the link below. You have to have a Twitter account. You have to like, follow, retweet. It ends on Monday, May 15th. This is going to be announced after the premiere of my interview with Jack and the team at Casino Coin. I'm going to interview them tonight. I'm going to premiere it Monday. Get excited, people. Casino coin. We have about three days left until the flare drop number three. Flare drop is being made to all individuals out there that have wrapped their flare token, WFLR. This is going to be the third monthly airdrop of 36. Get excited. If you don't know what's going on, check out Flare Networks. Check it out. Rap Flare, the future of the XRP ledger and the Flare ecosystems. Okay, here we go. Ripple Payments Partner, Trang- Tranglo, not Trianglo. Get it right, CoinGate. Tranglo celebrates $1 billion in on demand liquidity volume, and XRP is used in on demand liquidity. Get excited, people. 
Texas. Come on, Texas. I'm from Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Texas votes to add cryptocurrency to the state's Bill of Rights. I repeat, Texas votes to add cryptocurrency to the state's Bill of Rights. Texas lawmakers vote to add digital asset currency to the state's Bill of Rights, granting individuals the rights to use currencies like Bitcoin for trading. It says United States legislators in Texas have voted to amend the state's Bill of Rights to add provisions recognizing the rights of individuals to possess, retain, and utilize digital currencies. The decision was made on Wednesday, May the 10th. House Bill 146, introduced by State Representative, I cannot pronounce the name, I, I, GC, declares that individuals that have the right to use a medium of exchange that is mutually, mutually agreed upon, which includes digital currencies, cash, coin, bullion, or script, for trading and contracting goods and services, and that right cannot be violated. So it went through the House, it passed, it has to go through one more time. We're doing things in Texas that other states aren't doing. And I want to tip my hat to all of the other states that are fighting for a level playing field. Wyoming, Florida, Texas, there's many more out there. Uh, keep fighting the fight. Keep getting with your local representatives. You know, it's going to take us. It's going to take many. It's going to take the John Deaton's. It's going to take the Digital Chamber of Commerces and all these other organizations that are trying to educate the old farts in Congress. And we're going to have to vote out the old, vote in the young, the technolo technologically savvy out there because it's the wave of the future. It's the wave of the future for our, our families and future generations. This, this technology is not going away. Well, have a great weekend. My weekend is going to be busy. Interview tonight, birthdays, Mother's Day tomorrow, graduation parties today. It's going to be chock full of joy and love all weekend. And I hope everyone else out there has an awesome weekend as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Like the video. My name is James Rule. This is the James Rule Crypto Show. Have a wonderful weekend. And don't forget, I told you so.